you do see the Joker. Benjel's the sixth. By virtue of Benjel's the sixth seed, knocking out Nadia the fourth seed. Bug Doctor and Nadia, the third and fourth seed, will be playing for fifth. Good. That'll be our next set that happens after this. So yeah, as I sort of expected, Benoit starting out with the Joker. BZ probably doesn't have quite as much experience in this matchup. I know you could speak to that better than I could, but I, he's definitely played Scubs as Joker uh, a plethora of times. He's played a multitude of Jokers in his time. Yeah, I guess he, he's also a Wi-Fi tournament fiend, a non-SK Wi-Fi tournament fiend, so... Yeah. There is that. Joker is not the hardest, nice. hardest matchup to get experience in. No, it's true. The back hit of a uh, Dolphin Slash actually beats out Arsene Fair there. <laughs> So BZ controlling stage really well right now. Benoit's been getting a couple of stray hits here and there, and that's why the percentages look respectable, but he hasn't gotten any sort of major opening that he wants to get. Good use of Arsene, though, to keep BZ off stage and even up these percents. So, in the pool set, all three games were two stocks. Do you it's think true. we're going to see a repeat of that? I'd be surprised if we see a repeat of that. I'm thinking three stocks. Okay. You're <laughs> on to something. I feel, I, feel like, I feel like Benoit is going to come out of the gate swinging, playing a little bit better than he played last set. I think game one's going to be close, but I'm, I can't speak for how the rest of the set's going to go. You know, it's interesting that... Uh... At no point versus Nadia do you whip out the Joker. Yeah, actually, I... I, I feel like maybe it's different given that Nadia's Lucina is not his main. Yeah. And he felt that Definitely. the little intricacies of, of neutral where familiarity becomes a lot more important. He just felt that he would be on a lot of them. That's a good point, actually, with Nadia's Lucina being, like, pretty much dependent on neutral game. Best to do that with the character you're comfortable in neutral with the most. For sure. Whereas Beezy's Lucina, which seems to be um, you know, much more dependent on advantage state, maybe a character with a disadvantage that's not as fragile as Ness's would be more successful. Yeah. Oh, he caught the roll in, but misspaced it. This is a precarious position for BZ. I guess he gets to ledge pretty safely there. Now he's got an edge guard situation. <laughs> it's a that edge is guard situation. legitimately the best outcome Benjels could have had. That is True. better than making it back. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, but the down throw fair isn't even true at zero. <laughs> So, you're right. No two-stock this game. With some luck, looks like he may even be able to take this game one. With a little bit of skill and a lot more luck, anything's possible. And you toss a healthy dose of lag in there, and he might win the tournament. <laughs> yeah, you know, with a little bit of lag, anything's possible. <laughs> That's true. Literally anything is possible with a bit of lag. Lag spike, the spectators get <clears throat> disconnected from the game, and suddenly Benoit's won three. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> so he's kept him off stage. I mean, we'd be able to... There it is! Oh, unfortunate SD from BC. Doesn't make it back, and game one goes to Benjels in a stark wow. difference from the previous set we saw between these two. Benjels was doing a really good job of playing at his desired pace. It felt like he was just completely overrun by BC a lot of the time in their pool set. But he is doing a better job of, I guess, staying composed and maintaining control. Mm -hmm. Well, we have one, at least one person in the chat who's not very supportive of 
Regina's finest Wi-Fi warriors. Josh SK coming in and saying Regina is spam. Unbelievable. That's true. Hey. That's true. I mean... I have never spammed in my life. Yes, you have. I have never spammed um, in my you life. You spam. The only move that you have ever spammed is me sword fighters up tilt against player the Kirby. No. It's actually Tornado against Jigglypuff. That's the only time I've ever spammed. Oh, against Vic against Victini, right? I literally yeah, used was... three times as many projectiles than any other move, including recovery. <laughs> Very interestingly, we see the Ness come out due to the Lilat pick. I wonder if this was a bait by BZ. It's possible, yeah. So a very similar start. Oh. Not as similar. So I just got disconnected from the arena. Ah. Or from the match, I guess. I am Well, no what you spectating. guys all missed, because I forgot to push a button, um, is a shield break. <laughs> Oops. It's okay, I'm sure you guys can hear what I was doing. So I'm going to be staying quiet here because I uh, mm -hmm. can't see what's going on live. We do see a lead from BZ. Now I'm echoing. Am I still echoing? BZ went up three socks to one. <laughs> Bug Doctor says kind of cool makes it sound like a robot. Of course the Mega Man player would think that's cool. <laughs> okay. Serious, I think this may have been a bait for him to go Ness. Which is funny. Ooh! Reads the roll with the F smash. The game's over uh, if you want to try rejoining the... Or if you're still in the arena, that's no problem. Yeah, I'm still in the spectator stance. Good, good. <laughs> Yeah, so that Stream's was only a, a couple seconds behind. Good game. Blink and you'll miss it. And we blinked for the first stock. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, the stream didn't see the whole first stock, and then I didn't see the last two stocks. The only thing, but hey. the reason I could imagine him switching is because he likes Ness or on Lilat, <sighs> which is but funny. I think you're right. I think that might have been a supreme bait. At his first ever tournament, BZ here. <clears throat> um, he lost to me because of Lilat, and then he swore to never go to Lilat again. <laughs> I expected nothing less, BZ says in, in uh, the stream. Yeah, that was definitely a bait, and it worked out super well. <laughs> Vangel swiftly reverts to the Joker. Good. He probably never should have, never should have gone. Yeah, honestly, after like the way game one went, I don't think he really needed to deviate much from his plan. No, not at all. Hey, game three starting out pretty well. He's catching jumps. He's down tilting. He's doing a lot of aha, and a lot of it's working. BZ fighting back, though. Reads the roll. Honestly, all BZ needs to do is read those rolls and he wins the set. Yeah. And eventually he'll catch on. Not eventually, it won't take him long at all. Something that I've never seen Vangels do with Joker before is go for an Arsen Dare combo. Like, ever. Yeah. Honestly, a 
now that I think about it, I've never really seen him go for any combo. Ever. It's mostly just straight hits. And like, well-placed back airs and stuff. Back airs and F-tilts. Oh, neutral air. That nair is so strong. DC steals away that first stock after Banjo's establishing a lot of control. I wonder if that's gonna yeah, knock the wind out of his sails. Yeah. Um, I don't know that that's the stream scrum. We're not dropping any frames. Either it's you or it's the players. <laughs> Yeah, it might just be your internet scrum, sorry to say. Oh, Joker barely clips that I'm surprised that, that you made it back, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. BZ sending a he message right lose. now. I mean, honestly, in this player matchup, eh, it's not too far from the truth. Another up D. It's true. Ooh, the charged F smash. The Not uncharged often you see up, smash. up smash out of shield. That's how you know that he's really confident in the punish. Oh, perfect read up the air. And there we see. You know, BZ's patented advantage state it gets him 61%. And then the stall with the with the side B just for good measure. Every time that we change scenes to switch the tags, it lags. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and there's the, the F getup. smash. And BZ establishing a firm control yeah. over this set. 2-1 for BZ. I'm sure Ben was shaking, shaking in his boots right now. No kidding. But I think they might go right back. <clears throat> yep, I'm back at it. I feel like Ben Juan knows that this. He knows that regardless of how this last match went, this is his best option in terms of a character pick. Yeah, no question. Just gonna have to see if he can. Oh, sort of there it is! Up. Certainly made the right choice. Homie stock. Homie stock <laughs> <or> your fake. <laughs> no, that was a homie stock from BZ. <laughs> He's saying, I don't even need For this. For the NES game. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't even need it. Mm. I cannot lose. Honestly, I think that spike. JJ has a better chance of beating. I think JJ has a better chance of beating Big Sham than Benjels does beating BZ. No. Disagree. JJ has never had a chance of beating Big Sham. In any game, it has so never then, happened. It never so will then it's happen. equal. It's yeah. true. There's no video evidence of that ever happening. That's a fact. Arsene putting in work, but can only do so much. Look at BZ just complete, completely locking him down. He's follow he was following Vangels' every move there. Gets the down air. Good BZ's not going to be happy unless all three kills this game are down airs. Yeah. Look at the way he's fishing. Back throw. And there it oh. is. Just I don't know like if that, that was an SD or just Vangels kind of throwing in the towel. So that's 3-1. No, that looked a lot better. 